Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming with me on this journey of making videos and trying to teach you all about wedding photography. In my last video, I had mentioned how I wanted to do more behind the scenes. Well, if you've been in this business for a while, you know how difficult that is because you're so focused on actually doing the work it's really hard to whip out your phone or an extra camera and record what is going on. Uh, this last wedding that we had on Saturday, I tried to do my best to do that. But again, I was so focused on the job that it was difficult to really capture everything about the wedding. So normally, you know, people show you the pretty pictures online and you have your website set up and you see these wonderful images that people have taken but no one really talks about the work that goes into those images i mean there's a lot of stuff even on my website that is so planned and prepared for that takes maybe five minutes to set up a single shot but a lot of people see images on pinterest or instagram and they want that shot but what they don't know is that it took five or 10 minutes to get that single image. And so maybe they're not accounting for that extra time that we will need to get that shot. They're also not accounting for the fact that this was taken at a certain venue and maybe your venue doesn't look like that. So again, a lot goes into a lot of the images that we take. A lot of it is behind, you know, sort of like fly on the wall type stuff where it's candid and you know we're just getting pictures of you getting ready or pictures of the ceremony that's a lot of stuff that we can't control but the stuff that we can control a lot of organization and time goes into that weddings are very taxing um what may be six hours or eight hours for you is really eight to ten to twelve hours for us there's a lot of prep that goes into a wedding day you're charging batteries. You're getting all of your equipment together. You're formatting cards. You're getting dressed in clothes that are comfortable. That's another video. Um, you are preparing for everything. If we are bringing the photo booth, the template for that couple that day has to be set up. There's so much prep and so much you know, organization and everything else that goes into a wedding day that a lot of photographers don't talk about on YouTube channels. I have followed a lot of people and studied a lot of photographers and they're more into technique and what lenses they're using and that's great. But what really needs to go into these videos is more on how we prepare for this, how mentally and physically taxing being a wedding photographer really is. Right now it's Monday, today's Monday. We just had this huge wedding on Saturday. Honestly, I'm exhausted. Uh, it takes about two days to recover from a wedding. You're on your feet for six to eight to 10 hours. You're barely drinking anything. You're trying to focus on the bride or the couple, depending on what time of day it is. And your brain is working at such a high level of alertness that at the end of the day, you're ready to pass out. The next day, like yesterday, it was Halloween. It was all we could do to you know, get our girls ready for Halloween and take them out so that they could go trick-or-treating and stuff. But I mean, I am wiped out and so is my husband. Both of us are like zombies the day after. I'm still uploading images and backing them up, but really today is the day that I'm gonna take all of our dead batteries out of our cameras, our flashes, our transmitters, uh, and get all of those charged. Today is the day where I'm putting new memory cards in and I'm getting us ready for the, the wedding that's coming up here this weekend. So you're on your feet. Uh, it's exhausting. We love doing it though. It's what we do as a job. So, but really you just have to prepare yourself. If you're going into this as a full-time wedding photographer, be prepared to have a really sore back 
really sore feet, um, shoulders that ache, your neck, everything aches. Um, so the best piece of advice I can tell you is to bring bottled water, stick it in your bag because you're not going to have time to run around trying to find the coordinator to see where the water's at. Bring snacks. I like to bring either um, a bag of crackers um, or a protein bar, uh, anything that's going to just keep you going. Because if you arrive to the venue at 11 or even noon, and the reception isn't until six or seven, and that's when you're gonna eat, you've got all those hours on your feet to try and make it through, to try and be on this high level of alertness without water, without taking a break, really. And you've gotta keep yourself going. So enough about that. When we arrived to the venue, um, you'll see in some of the video I took that we try to get ready you know, as we're unloading our equipment, we try to have our cameras already on us with the lenses that we're gonna use. That way we can just walk into the venue, place our lights approximately where we think we're gonna want them, and then immediately go in to meet the bride and groom and start taking, getting ready pictures from there. So that way we're not fumbling around in our camera bag, we're not searching for what lenses, a lot of times when you first walk into the venue, you've got the coordinator coming up to you trying to immediately, you know, hammer you with all of this information about what's going on with the couple. So you've got to try and talk to her and, you know, figure out what's going on so far. And then you walk in to see the bride or groom. They're excited to see you, we're excited to see them. But again, they're trying to hand you the dress, they're trying to hand you the shoes, they're trying to you know, communicate with you and, and do all of this stuff literally just seconds as you're walking into the room. So what we like to do, what we've learned over the years is to be as prepared as possible before we get into the venue. That way we can just immediately start working. So the few videos that I was able to shoot on Saturday, um, I'm going to sort of show you what that was like. It's a huge venue. It's a country club in this part of town. So you're going up and down stairs a lot. You're going down long hallways to get from one end of, you know, where the bride's room is to where the groom is located. Um, there's a lot of stairs, a lot of hallways, but you'll see all of that in the videos. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, I don't like the way I ended this video actually it seems a little abrupt to me uh, some video that I thought I shot didn't record I mean I swear I can work my cameras all day long but when it comes to my iPhone and you know sometimes I think I hit that record button and I don't so I'm like terrible with iPhone video for some reason but anyway um, I am going to be going back to that same venue in a few weeks to shoot a bridal session with the same bride. So here in the next few weeks, I am hoping to include some more behind the scenes video. Bridal sessions to me are a little bit more relaxed. It's not the wedding day. We have more of a chance to play and relax and just walk around and take it easy and it's not as high strung and stressful as trying to do all of this on a wedding day. When the bride approaches me and wants to do an additional session after the wedding day where she can dress up and maybe take a little bit more time to take photos, I am really excited about that because that's my moment where we get to do all of the fun, crazy things that we didn't get a chance to do on the wedding day itself. So again, I hope that you found some of this video helpful, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like the way I ended it. I was hoping to include a little bit more footage of what we did that evening. Next time though, I plan on hiring someone to sort of do more behind the scenes. That way you can see me interacting with the bride preparing, you know, some shots, 
um, maybe some detail shots, setting those up, um, and just things like that. So again, thanks for coming with me on this journey. Please subscribe to my channel. I really love all the comments and answering questions. And I'm uh, looking forward to showing you guys more of what it takes to be a wedding photographer. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Happy November 1st. I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving and I will see all of you guys soon. Thanks.